This is a very important time right now, and the DuPage County Health Department is interested in getting information out with regard to the open enrollment period for uh, the uh, health insurance uh, program and the uh, health insurance marketplace, which is now available to residents here in our community. We wanted to give you some details on that and maybe uh, walk you through some of the uh, uh, more popular questions, because it can be a little confusing. This is something that's been uh, available now for several years and the DuPage County Health Department serving uh, our entire community has really taken the lead on wanting to first of all get information out to residents of the community and then uh, help you through this process because it can be a little daunting, a little confusing right now. So we have an expert here to help us walk through that process right now and he is Adam Forker who is the Director of Client Access for the DuPage Health Department. Hi Adam, welcome. Hi. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for yeah. having me. This is a busy time and the open enrollment period is actually ongoing right now as we speak, correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. It is underway, it's here, and that's probably the number one thing we want people to know. Okay. L let's talk about what this is. It can be a little confusing. Uh, people who either uh, have heard about this, have not gotten involved in this before, or uh, uh, need to make some changes should probably take note of some of the things that we're going to be talking about. This is the Health Insurance Marketplace, which is a uh, federal program that's been in existence uh, probably going on about eight or nine years, I would say, right now. That's correct, right. yeah. Okay. So, yep, this was uh, the individual health insurance marketplace is one component of the Affordable Care Act, which, mm -hmm. uh, as you said, has been in effect for about eight or nine years now. Um, this is our sixth full open enrollment period, uh, annual open enrollment period for this uh, um, opportunity. And uh, yes, we want people to know that if they don't, uh, have coverage through an employer or through Medicare or Medicaid that this is um, likely a very good opportunity for them to get coverage for themselves and their family. And that's important to point out and it does get a little confusing. If a resident and their family are covered already by some type of insurance, either employer provided, Medicare, Medicaid as you just mentioned, um, this is not something that they need to get involved in. They already have the required amount of health insurance coverage then through that, those sources. That is correct. Yep. Okay. If they have it through those sources that they are um, all set. If they're unsure, they can call us though. Right, right. Just, just, just to ask to make certain because it can be a little confusing. But for those who don't have that uh, or, or need to go back and revisit it, this is the type of information that I know that the DuPage Health Department wants to get out to, to the community. So what is it that a person would be shopping for. If someone were to contact the health department, and we'll give our, our viewers all that information in a few minutes as to how to get involved, but what, what is it really that they're going to be shopping for? It's a health insurance. That can be kind of a pretty broad and uh, somewhat uh, a scary type of thing to get involved in, because I want to make sure I have it done right, I make sure I have it covered correctly. So what is it really that people are going to be uh, shopping for at the marketplace? Yeah, great question. Um, I mean, they will be shopping for a specific plan, a health insurance plan that will cover uh, either themselves or themselves and their family members and will allow them access to um, doctors, hospitals, uh, a, a network uh, for access to care that, you know, uh, will cover all of the essential health benefits still, um, you know, inpatient, outpatient, things like that. Okay. So. Um, we, we want them to, uh, you know, be able to access care uh, when it's needed, but also uh, for preventive care, to help them stay healthy before they are Which started. helps keep the costs down, and I think that was one of the big points that was stressed early on, is if you get ahead of these things, and we've known this for a long time, preventative care, kind of going along with the mission of the health department, get ahead of these things before they become a problem and become more costly and can certainly cause uh, other problems for a person. So th this is Absolutely. one tool that you can use to stay ahead of uh, things and stay healthy. Absolutely. Having coverage uh, absolutely helps you access preventive care um, that is, yeah, it's very, it's cost effective and um, is, is really best, best practice that it needs. Sure. Now talking about cost effective, it's so my understanding there is financial assistance available if a person is eligible for that, and that's something they'd be able to determine at the time that they go through the enrollment. Is that Absolutely, correct? yes. So uh, you mentioned before that health insurance is complicated, and I think everyone would agree. Um, and so our our 
certified assisters at the health department. Um, some uh, professionals that are certified by the state of Illinois will help folks walk through the options that are available to them, shop for the plans, and yes, uh, to answer your question, they will help them identify what types of financial assistance are available uh, to make those plans affordable for them and their families. The time period that we're talking about right now, this open enrollment, this is the time to shop for it if you don't have it. Can you also make changes if you already have the, uh, the, the health insurance program through the Affordable Care Act? Is this the time to make that change without yeah. incurring any type of a penalty, for example? Absolutely, yeah, good point. So um, we, we do help a lot of folks in DuPage County who have actually enrolled through this uh, program before on the marketplace and uh, yes this is also the time of year for them to come and review and renew make changes things of that nature because very often you don't know from one year to the next what the needs are going to be you kind of have to try things out I mean not to equate it to this but you know you buy a car but but you really need to get a feel for it to see how it's going to be and the same could also be said of something like a health insurance program I would health insurance plan. I would wholeheartedly agree mm -hmm. because um, it, again it can be confusing about you know who is in network who's not in network Work. Some of the specifics of plans, um, we tend to focus a lot on the on the premium, the monthly premium sure. cost to make sure that you that stay covered. Yeah. And yeah, it's totally understandable why. Um, but it's also important to look at some of the other details, like what your other out-of-pocket costs might be, co-pays and deductibles, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So that's where I think actually the analogy works pretty well, because sometimes you enroll in a plan, and then you're locked in that plan for the next year, and you start to learn actually how it really works. Right. And, this is another opportunity to kind of make that change. Very good. Let's talk about how a person connects to the DuPage Health Department. Where do you want them to either call or visit? How do they get in, involved? How do they get connected to the health department to either begin this process, make an appointment? You said you have certified staff that know all about these types of things, You've probably heard these questions many, many times before, yeah. so people should not feel uh, uh, awkward or embarrassed about asking questions because that's what you and your staff are here to do. That's precisely what we're there to do. Good. The number one way to get in touch with us is to call uh, a direct line that we've established for the open enrollment period. It is 630-221-7606. Um, there you will, again, encounter uh, trained professionals that are ready to answer these questions, have dealt with these types of questions before, and then they'll help navigate you to the best uh, resource for enrollment from there. Maybe they can answer your questions right there on the phone, on the spot, and you're all set. Maybe you want to come in uh, either in person for a one-on-one -on -one appointment in one of our health department offices, uh, or maybe you want to come to one of our community events that will be happening uh, throughout the open enrollment period. Uh, they'll help you determine what's kind of the best fit for you, uh, but 221-7606 will, will start you off in that direction. Mm -hmm. And how about if I want to hop on uh, uh, the internet and uh, kind of peruse things myself, is there a way that they can connect, again, through yeah. the health department's resources at the DuPage Health Department, how best to go about doing that if they want of to get course. online and do it? Yeah, of course, there's a couple ways. Um, for one, I would suggest that you could follow the DuPage County Health Department on Facebook or Twitter, where all that information is being oh. um, regularly posted throughout the open enrollment period. Um, so that's one way to connect if you use those platforms. But also, you can just visit our website, dupagehealth.org. Um, you can Google DuPage County Health Department, and you'll yep. find your way there. And then all this information about open enrollment is also there on our website. Now, if I make a phone call or I even come to the health department office, for example, uh, here in Addison uh, on Lake Street, what do I need to bring with me? I mean, aside from yeah. the, the, the willingness to be able to go yeah. through all of this and uh, uh, open-mindedness to, to what's out there, any type of documentation I need to bring with yes. me or for my family. Yes, also. great question. Um, because if we want to make that interaction, that enrollment assistant assistance most effective for you, a successful sort of uh, exchange there, um, it is best that, that you come prepared with some documentation. And so what do we mean by documentation? Um, it's paperwork that is um, your, your ID, social security information, um, your income information, because that will really uh, drive what type of financial assistance is available to you. Um, and then if, again, you know, we talked about folks who may already have health insurance and are looking to kind of explore maybe a change or just right. what they need to do to renew their plan. We're gonna want you to also bring in any of that health policy information that you currently have. Okay. Policy numbers, um, letters from your insurance carrier, anything like that. So if you have a, a, a plan already in place, 
that uh, perhaps a person had signed up through the uh, marketplace, the, the health insurance marketplace, bring that documentation because that would just help expedite things if you do want to make a change, yep. upgrade, downgrade, whatever it might be. You got it, yeah. Uh, uh, these insurance plans are plans that are available out in the commercial market. Is that right? This isn't something that is just unique and exclusive to the health insurance plan, or, or is it well, something it's, that it's, is exclusive? Yeah, it's unique and exclusive to the marketplace in that going through the marketplace is the only way to receive the financial assistance. Um, it, you certainly can shop directly uh, on the market with commercial insurance carriers for plans, but then there is no option to receive the financial assistance uh, to reduce the cost of the monthly premium. Right, right. Um, there are a number of uh, walk-in, I'm going to call it a walk-in clinic or walk-in uh, yeah. uh, opportunity event that uh, you have scheduled, health department has scheduled throughout the majority of the DuPage County area. So uh, it's, it's as easy as just going there. And uh, many of these uh, are walk-ins and some you want to have an appointment scheduled. So you would call the health department offices to get that uh, taken care of. Right? Yes, yeah. I mean, I really strongly encourage that folks call first because again, we might be able to help just kind of answer some questions over the phone and really navigate you to the best sort of opportunity for you. Um, but uh, there are some walk-ins. We know that sometimes uh, that's the, the best way to meet people's needs is to just say, hey, come on in at any time at this location this day. So there's a handful of walk-in events as well. Um, but calling for an appointment and, and to kind of do some of that preliminary uh, screening and discussion, I think, is really the best way to move forward. M many of the, the uh, appointment locations where you can go in to uh, speak to someone are at uh, uh, public facilities and, and uh, health and human service type uh, agencies where you already have contact with the community and in particular people who maybe don't know about this. So I imagine yeah. as part of your outreach, you're trying to connect with agencies that can help deliver the message about what it is that we're talking about today with getting into the uh, health insurance program on the right. marketplace. Right, exactly. I appreciate that question very much because we've tried to learn and grow each year like I said before, this is our sixth open enrollment, and we try to get a little better at it each year. And what we've learned is um, leaning on our partners in the community is, is, is really effective. Um, so yes, uh, some libraries, food pantries, those types of, of community partners have really stepped up uh, this year and in the last couple of years to kind of help us reach the community. And, and they, they host these events. They provide a lot of support. And so we really rely on them. Those partnerships are important to us. Well, don't they also help bridge that gap? Uh, uh, Sometimes, uh, you know, a, a resident might be apprehensive to make contact with uh, a, an agency because they're not quite sure of the questions that are going to be asked. But if you have someone there who could maybe facilitate that, bring them along a little bit more, meet them sort of on their turf, uh, it, it makes for a little easier contact with an agency such as yourself there, and you can get the work done, deliver the uh, the service that's needed, and then the resident walks away knowing that they were someone was able to help them with this. So you kind of yeah. help. Those agencies are important because they do make a connection there between the two. Again, I very much agree. I mean, it's. You know, going into government buildings isn't always the most comfortable for everybody. So that's an excellent point. And I think that that's part of why, yeah, we rely on the partners to say we can help bring this service out into the community, into places where, um, you know, our residents are perhaps more comfortable or where, or where they will already be. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great point. Well, Adam, let's conclude. And again, a reminder that the open enrollment period for the uh, 2019 health insurance coverage uh, program is underway right now and continues through December 15th. So you've got a short amount of time to take advantage of these services that are available offered by the DuPage County Health Department. Let's just touch on the phone number and the website one more time, Adam, if you would, so our sure. residents are aware at least how to get started with this program. Sure, yeah, so give us a call, 630-221-7606, or visit our website at dupagehealth.org, and we're here to help. Great. Well, Adam, thank you very much for spending the time to help our viewers understand a little bit more about the 2019 health insurance uh, program, which is underway with its open enrollment period right now. It's important to make sure that you have health insurance. If it's not already covered through another source, such as an employer, Medicare, or Medicaid, take advantage of this opportunity. And the DuPage County Health Department has trained staff who can assist you, who have been through programs like this in the past and have, have helped uh, uh, many, many residents of our community. And they are are available to assist you here in the community with the questions you might have with regard to uh, health insurance coverage. Our guest today has been Adam Forker, the Director of Client Access for the DuPage County Health Department. Adam, thank you very much for being Thank you so today. much for having me.